So thank you very much for joining us today. I'm with Vince Siciliano today, the president and CEO of New Resource Bank. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Catherine. It's great to be here. So now in looking at you, what you're doing, um, you're really focused on building a better world. Can you give us a sense of what your bank is doing and how you're different? Sure. So we st start, when I talk about the bank, I like to start from the reason why. So we start from the belief that money and banking can be used to do good in the world. In other words, we can help achieve well-being for people on the planet. So that's, that's why we exist. And the, the how we do that is by taking in deposits and investment capital and lending that to a small and middle-sized businesses and nonprofits that are managing not only for a financial return, but also for a social and environmental return, the so-called triple bottom line. And oh, by the way, we're a bank. We take in deposits and we make loans. So that's kind of how we discuss ourselves in a nutshell, using Simon Sinek's golden circle as a framework. So when you reflect on your own career, what has been your biggest career learning? That's a really great question. I feel like for a lot of my work life, uh, there has been a question of how does my work life relate to my personal life? And how can I be... Uh, what I call have true integrity or unity integrity being that sense of oneness or wholeness so how can I be doing something and being myself at work just like I am when I'm not at work and so w what is it that really would enable me to do that and I think that's been a search for me for for many decades to to, uh, to do something that is uh, to be my to be my real self everywhere I am and uh, that's a search I think that that means that one's work has to, in some way, if you had overlapping circles, has to in some way be part of your calling in life. Uh, what is it that I, I'm looking for? What am, why am I here? Can I be that person at work as well as elsewhere? So that idea of, of work not being uh, just a way uh, to support oneself, but work really being part of one's calling in life is probably what I consider to be my biggest learning. How have you kind of distilled that? How have you figured that out for yourself? <laughs> uh, I would say that <clears throat> through trial and failure uh, or trial and error, uh, I, I was brought up in a family where achievement was really the, 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 the be all and end all. That a family, the family that I would say uh, where I was really taught to, to the value for my accomplishments and the approval and the approval of my parents initially, but the picture is bigger. I think a lot of us are uh, taught to be valued by our accomplishments and the approval of others. And so that, that becomes a, and not the most pleasant, not the most uh, uh, wonderful way to live one's life because then you're always searching for the next accomplishment. You're always trying to get ahead. You're always trying to be number one. I mean, competition in and of itself is a, is basically not great for the soul if you think about it. It's always about, I'm better than you, uh, I'm one up, you're one down. There's always some fear and pride elements built into our interactions because I'm always trying to prove that I'm better in some way, or my business is always trying to prove that it's better than your business. So that's a basically corrosive kind of process. And, uh, and I think it sounds good as long as you're winning, uh, as long as one can keep defining oneself by one's wins, but ultimately, <clears throat> I think everybody has some bumps in the road or some failures. And so for me, it took several, several failures to really come to the realization that, uh, A, I was part of those failures, but B, uh, if that's how I'm going to build my sense of security is on my accomplishments plus the approval of others, that's not very good ground to stand on. Mm -hmm.